What's up everyone? It's Charlotte. Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Chloe Tang 21 day hourglass challenge that she dropped last month. Just completed it. So we're going to chat about it in today's video. Okay. So for this video, I'm going to be comparing this challenge, the 21 day hourglass challenge to last summer's two week shred challenge. That was a huge viral thing on every internet platform that I saw. There were YouTube videos about it. People were making TikToks. People were posting on Instagram. I don't know about Snapchat. Is that even relevant anymore? But it was a big thing on most big name social media platforms. So I feel like a lot of people know the two week shred challenge, which is why I'm kind of using that as a baseline and comparing it to the 21 day hourglass challenge. So. So obviously this challenge was a bit longer than the two week shred challenge in the title two week shred challenge was two weeks, which is 14 days. This one was three weeks, 21 days. So a little bit longer of a challenge. And I didn't think that would make that much of a difference, but it did. This one definitely felt a lot longer, even though it was only a few days longer that like week three slump hits brothers. It hits so hard. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. You wouldn't think that there would be that much a difference between a two week workout and a three week workout, but there is, there was, I felt it. Okay. Going back to what I said a little bit ago about the difference in challenging, like how challenging the workouts were. The two week shred challenge was almost all cardio and ab workout. They call them high intensity impact. It's either high intensity impact or high intensity interval training. Hey Siri, what does HIT stand for? High intensity interval training. So um, that's a lot of cardio, high intensity, it's in the name. This one was a lot more like muscle toning, getting your muscles, building muscle mass, toning, getting stronger more than like doing cardio. It was a lot more like, okay, let's do some sit-ups and let's do some ab training and let's do some squats and some booty training rather than like, okay, now we're gonna do 10 minutes of high knees. You know what I mean? But anyway, that was actually one of the good things about these workouts. They were less challenging because you didn't have to do that like heart beating super fast cardio kind of thing. It was just more like, okay, now we're going to work on some leg exercises. Now we're going to work on some butt exercises. Now we're going to work on some arm exercises. And you could kind of just like hang out and do them. You didn't have to be like, okay, now I'm getting into a mental headspace where I need to work out and sweat and be gross. I don't like working out if you can't tell. But with these ones, it was a lot more just like, oh, you could be watching a different video and be doing your donkey kicks at the same time. I really liked it because you didn't sweat as much. You didn't get that like shortness of breath, like your heart is beating and you're just like uh -huh, after working out, you know what I mean? Like you didn't, I didn't ever get that after these. And that also leads me to my next topic, which is motivation because the workouts were so much easier, uh, like less intense on your body. I was a lot more motivated to do them. I could just be like, oh, well, I really want to do my workout right now. And you could just go do it. You didn't have to like get yourself all hyped up to do 15 minutes of cardio. All right. So I'm going to show you guys some of the vlog footage that I took when I was doing this three week challenge. And then we're going to talk about my measurements, my results, and then we're going to talk about my recommendations and pros and cons list for this challenge. So enjoy the vlog footage and then we'll chat. <laughs> Okay, it's day one. Let's get it. Okay, we're back. It's day two. We have a whole new set of exercises today. It's day three. I am super, super sore in my legs, but it looks like today is abs and arms, which is exciting. Gonna give my legs and my butt a little bit of a break. Okay, it's day four. It's currently 9 p.m. because I completely forgot about working out today. Okay, hey guys, it's day five, it's nine. Ow, ow! It's day five and like yesterday, it's like 9 p.m. right now because I just procrastinated all day on working out, but luckily today's workout is only 10 minutes long and there's only one video that we have to do. Okay, what's up guys? It's day six of the Hourglass Challenge.
What's up guys? It's day eight of the Chloe Tang 21 day hourglass challenge. I can't believe I already made it through the first full week of this program. I feel like it went by so, so fast already. I didn't record anything yesterday because it was an active rest day, so I didn't have anything to record. It's day nine, yay! What's up guys? It's day 10. I'm about to start my workout. I literally can't believe that I've worked out and followed this program on track for 10 days straight. Like. That's insane to me. I haven't done this much working out like on schedule and in consecutive days in so, 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 so long. I have to do that whole workout again now. My butt hurts. It's day 12, let's get it. <laughs> Day 13, let's go. Okay, it's day 15. I'm officially two weeks in already, which is just so crazy. There's only technically six days left. So like, what the heck? The three weeks have gone by so fast already. It's day 16 and it's really late at night, but today's workout is only 10 minutes long, which is like a godsend. I'm so relieved. What's up guys? It is day 17 and for today's workout, I'm doing the same 10 minute video three times and it's all like working the side of your butt. You guys, it's day 20. We are on the second to last day of this challenge. I literally cannot believe that I made it through this far. So far, like this is crazy. I haven't done this many days working out consecutively in so long. It's day 21. I literally cannot believe that I made it all three weeks. I'm not gonna dilly dally today. I'm just gonna get right into it and do it. So not a long intro for today, but we finally made it to day 21. And after I'm done with this like 30 minute workout, I'll be done with this challenge. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that like mini vlog style footage stuck there in the middle. Um, it took three weeks to record this video, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Next, I am going to tell you guys my measurements really quickly. Well, I'm not actually gonna be telling you my measurements, but I'm gonna be telling you how they changed um, and showing you some like before and after pictures. This challenge, the results were not as drastic as they were in the Chloe Tang two week. I don't know why I keep saying Chloe Tang in front of it. They're both Chloe Tang. The results from this challenge were not nearly as drastic as they were from the two week shred challenge. And I do think that comes from this one, not being cardio, not being high intensity work. You're not burning as many calories you're not burning as much fat so you're not going to be seeing you're not going to be seeing the same kinds of changes in your body that you might from a cardio workout from a hit workout or challenge that kind of thing this one was more you might see more muscle definition but you probably aren't going to see these like drastic changes in your body so i think that's the thing that being said i did have a few measurement changes not very many but a few okay so from this challenge i lost exactly 2.8 pounds so pretty much three pounds which that's like a pound a week for a three-week program that i think that's actually pretty good for a program that's wasn't necessarily designed to be a weight loss program it was designed to be like a muscle toning program. True to form, this really was an hourglass workout. I have measurement changes in my torso and my hips, but I don't really have anything in my legs or my arms or anything like that. So I guess, I mean, it did a good job of like targeting the specific areas that it said it would. My waist, I lost half an inch. So there definitely was a lot of like ab workouts, that kind of thing. So I can see that. I What I call my belly is like, it's the spot like pretty much between your belly button and where your leg starts, I guess. It's that like lower belly region. I just call that my belly, my tummy. Um, Cause anything above that I kind of think of as my waist or like my abdomen. I don't know. Am I just making weird distinctions? Um, but that's where I measured. There I lost an inch and a half. So that was by far my biggest uh, measurement change. I do think that came from a lot of the ab workouts and a lot of just like core training from this workout because even when you're working on your booty or working on your legs, you still have to engage your core. So I think that's where that came from. And like I said, that was definitely my biggest change. And then the only other change that I had was in my hips. My hips went down half of an inch. Kind of surprisingly, actually, my booty measurement did not change at all. It... 
I don't know why, <laughs> especially because I thought this was like an hourglass challenge, which I thought meant get a dump truck, but apparently not. <laughs> I got more in shape. Can I even, is this even appropriate to talk about? Like, should I even be, <laughs> should I even be talking about this? Anyway, I will be putting my before and after photos on screen right now so you guys can see if there were any visible changes in my body. I really could not tell that much of a difference between my before photos and my after photos taken three weeks later. And maybe that's just because it's it's me and I don't like notice the changes that much when I'm looking in the mirror and it's more obvious to see like a side-by-side -side comparison, which I haven't done yet. But I really feel like I don't look all that different. I, like I feel good, you know what I mean? Like I feel stronger. I can definitely feel like my abs are stronger than they were three weeks ago because like I said, um, there is a lot of core strengthening and core training in this challenge. So that was definitely a good thing. Okay, and last but not least, I'm gonna be talking about my pros and cons for this challenge, with my recommendations, all of that kind of like technical stuff. Did I enjoy this challenge? Yes. Would I recommend it to a friend? Yes. Would I do it again? Probably not. Because I felt like the whole challenge by itself ended up getting pretty repetitive and it just felt like three weeks of doing the exact same thing, which I mean it is, but that took a kind of a toll on like my motivation to do it. Like what I said in the beginning, that three weeks, that third week slump was definitely real where you get to that third week and you're thinking like, oh my gosh, I need to do a whole other week of this. Like I need to just keep going. Are you serious? I don't want to. But that being said, I actually did really enjoy some of the individual workouts in this challenge. And I would definitely do those again independently where I would just go find whatever video, um, you know, a 15 minute ab and booty workout video or something like that, where instead of just doing the whole challenge again, I would just find individual videos that I wanted to do. The thing about this challenge that, like another reason I probably wouldn't do it again is because I feel like it didn't really target the areas that I felt like I wanted to target the most. I felt like there were a lot of videos about um, like doing a, an arms and back workout and I've never done like a back workout before and I probably wouldn't like seek out a back workout again. So like there's that kind of thing where it's just like that's involved in the challenge that just like wasn't really meaningful to me. But there were things like I said, like videos that I did really enjoy, especially the ab workout. There was one that was like your 11 line abs in however many days or whatever. That one was brutal, but it ended up being one of my favorites because I just felt so much stronger after I completed it and after I completed the whole challenge, I felt so much stronger. So that was one thing that I would go back and watch that specific video again and work out with that video, but maybe not the whole challenge, as I've said a hundred million times now. Also, as I've said a couple of times, I really don't enjoy working out very much. It's just not something that I find fun or fulfilling or even worth my time. Like I know you, you should to have a healthy body and just like, keep your heart healthy, you need exercise, that kind of thing, but I just really dislike it. But this challenge made it easier because I knew going in that it wasn't gonna be like, okay, now you're gonna be sweating buckets because you're doing 15, 20 minutes of cardio. So that was kind of a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. If you do really like cardio and you do really like that like intense workout, this isn't the one for you. But if you're looking for something that's a bit more, almost like yoga inspired, then this one is good. This is a good workout challenge for you. All right, so those are all my thoughts on the 2021 21 day hourglass challenge by Chloe Tang. I will leave a link to it in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want to do the same challenge. It was a ton of fun and I actually did enjoy it despite all of my hatred of working out. So like I said, I'll leave that in the description if you guys wanna check that out, but that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you.